Hi there and welcome to today's video. If you're new to my channel, I'm Lizzie and I'm a polymer clay artist and illustrator and recently I've been trying to build on my YouTube channel. I've had my channel for about three years but to be honest I haven't paid a whole lot of attention to it but I've been recently thinking that you know it's something that I should be spending a little bit more time on so throughout 2019 I'm going to try and make a bit of a concerted effort to upload a video maybe once a week more of our time but you know I'm, go I'm really going to try and aim for, for one a week. I'll be focusing on all aspects of my life as an artist and illustrator so I'll aim to be uploading tutorials process videos such as this one, along with maybe some vlogs about my life and other bits and bobs, maybe some tips and tricks. But I'd really like to hear your suggestions too for what you'd like to see on this channel. By all means leave a comment down below for, for what you'd like to see, or maybe some suggestions for perhaps who you'd like to see me make. Um, I specialise in making people with polymer clay, so let me know who you'd like to, to see me create. So today I'm making Steve Zizou, as you've no doubt guessed by now. He's obviously the main chap from The Life Aquatic with Steve Zizou, of course by Wes Anderson, and played by the awesome Bill Murray. Who doesn't love Bill Murray? It's definitely my favourite Wes Anderson movie. He's made some, you know, cracking films, but it's certainly, I'd say, the best of the collection. And I think it's because Bill Murray brings so much to the role, really beautifully made and you know his uh, storytelling is, is quite unique really. So I felt compelled to make a little Steve. I'd be interested to hear your favourite Wes Anderson movies below as I'm sure I'll get around to, to making another of his characters at some point. I'm hoping to make a lot more process videos as I think they're quite an interesting thing for artists to do. I think it's always interesting to look back at previous project work to see how you arrived at a solution and uh, perhaps what you do differently now. And of course it's always important for artists to take process images for Instagram. I think people are often surprised at um, how involved my work is because my characters always look sort of quite simplistic I think but there's a whole lot of work behind making them look so simplistic really as I'm sure this video will illustrate. It's really just to give you an idea of how everything comes together. I have to say that I've really enjoyed working on this model not least because it's Bill Murray but I'm pretty much obsessed with colours from the green and blue spectrum, so teal, aqua, turquoise, so it's almost been like a bit of colour therapy really, it's um, yeah I just like to surround myself with these colours all the time I think. I tend to work on um, a few pro projects at any one time so I think all in all this piece took about two days to make because um, it's fairly involved, it's certainly not the most simple of my polymer portraits. There's a lot of detail on his suit and of course his, uh, his trainers there. If you're interested in what tools I use for model making, I'll just link to one of my older videos here. It's pretty old but it's still quite current in content because I, I still use pretty much the same tools. They're mainly by Fimo and Sculpey but I use um, some cheap bits and bobs that I've sourced from eBay as well so it's always worth looking out for, for tools. So once it's done my plan is to make an illustration with little Steve here and I'll be posting that on Twitter and Instagram once it's finished so by all means you're very welcome to follow me on either at Clay Disarray. And it's red hat time. This 
This hat is unbelievably fiddly to put together, but I'm kind of pleased with the outcome. Thanks very much for watching. I'll be back really soon. Take care. Bye bye.